13 on your side's 4 p.m. anchor Adelmi Ruiz had Chef Lucy in studio today. Let's see what they cooked up. Welcome back to 13 on your side. I'm Adelmi Ruiz and I'm joined with our friend Chef Lucy. Welcome to the studio, Chef. Thank you. And today we have a new recipe and something really easy to make. Like always, we're going to be preparing a seed bread or you can call it like a low carb bread or it like it's an excellent source of bread uh, to use when we're following, following like a keto diet as well. Awesome. Okay. Yeah. What I like about this recipe is we can either have it for lunch, for breakfast, for dinner, or even for like a simple snack because it gives us like a lot of nutritional value. So, and also it's really easy to make. Awesome. All right. So I'm going to start by telling you the ingredients that we're going to be using today. So here I have a mixture of walnuts. Uh, we have a little bit of, let me show you, um, the pumpkin seeds, sesame seeds. I mean, any type of seeds that you have and nuts you can mix for the bread. Also, we are gonna be using the coconut flour. And over here what I have is a flax seed of, uh, flour that we're gonna be using for this recipe. And also for texture, we're gonna be using the coconut flour. Mm -hmm. All right, so low carb, so and some of the pink salt as well. Okay, the base of the recipe is gonna be eggs, so we're gonna be using like about six eggs. And pretty much you're just uh, mixing everything in like a little bowl over here, like I'm doing over here. I have some extra eggs already. And you can just uh, incorporate until you have everything mixed in here and you are gonna be adding all the ingredients. See how easy is this recipe? All right, you can either uh, break a little bit of the seeds so you don't have the big chunks, that's gonna be better. And we're gonna be adding the flour. I mean, anyone can do this recipe over here really easy and really good high in protein as well awesome so we're gonna be adding more and more until you have like a like a thick batter yeah okay. and then if you need like more um, like flour and stuff like that you can also add a little bit more of the coconut flour see you have the mixture it takes just a few minutes to mix all the ingredients and then it can be like, you know, stuff that you have at home. So that way you don't have to be able, like buying extra stuff. So yeah. we're gonna be adding some of the pink salt as well, just for the flavor. And this is gonna be baking powder. We're gonna be using a pinch of the baking powder. If you wanna see the recipe, you can always find it at topmeals.com and... And at kyma.com. There you go. So now we have all the mixture already done. We're gonna have like a, hey, you can be using like a bread, you know, like base or something like that. I'm using over here the muffin tops. Mm -hmm. All right, so we can make small little breads over here. And we're gonna be making these little breads like in about 10 minutes. We're gonna put in the oven at 350 degrees for like about 15 minutes. Okay. And then they're all done. Awesome. All right, so let me show you the final product. So I have some of the spinach dip on the side, but you can also do like something sweet or savory. And it's Beautiful. ready to enjoy. Awesome. I don't know if you want to try it. <laughs> awesome, I will. Mm -hmm. mm. Definitely something different, something that you can enjoy like any type of, mm. any, any time of the day.